Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Figma has tons of plugins that you can use to your advantage. Today I'm going to show you how to add a video into one of your Figma projects using Anima. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go up to this icon here. It's your resources. Now once you click on here, you can jump over to plugins. And within plugins, you're going to go and type in Anima. So you're going to go down and look for the icon. It looks like this. It's a couple different shapes in here and you want to just click on it and you'll see a bunch of information on it. And here we're going to click on run. So the process now will essentially install that plugin onto your Figma account. OK, and what you will need to do here is you'll need to click on log in. All right. If you have an account or sign up for free, if you don't have an account. I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google and here you're going to just click on integrate with Figma and we want to allow access, of course. Right. And we are done. We can go back to Figma and here we can just refresh our page. Let's just go over here and we can refresh our page. Now, there are a few things that can do with Anima, but let's go in now to plugins and let us open Anima up. Now we're in Figma, we've opened it up and this is what it looks like. So there's a few things you can do here, but we're looking for the media element. Let's click on this and here you can insert a URL. Now this can come from YouTube, Vimeo, Lottie or even GIF. So what we want to do is we want to go over to the channel of choice. OK, of course, we're going to use one of our videos and we're going to grab the URL. OK, so if you go into studio, you can literally just click on the three dots. You can click on get shareable link. And this is now your URL. Once this is done, this will also give the opportunity to upload a file, but that's fine. And what we're going to do now is say next. Now you can see there's a few things here that you can change in terms of the playback setting. So there's autoplay loop control panels, hide or show, and then you can add a cover or you can have that muted. So once you're done, once you're happy with all of that, you can go ahead and you can click on save. Now this is in there. And if you click on publish, you can see over here, you can choose the framework that you use. Um, let's just go ahead and say HTML and you will now be able to get that code so that you can embed it into your design with a hyperlink. 